Hello, my darlings. This is Mrs. Welch coming to you for the Cavendish Fletcher Community Library with the third book in our Bear Trilogy, My Friend Bear by Jez Albro. My Friend Bear. Eddie's walking with his teddy. Eddie's teddy's name is Freddie. Oh, Freddy, said Eddie with a great big sigh. I feel sad and I don't know why. Freddy said nothing. Eddie sighed again. Oh, I wish you could talk, he said. And then, oh, wow, look at that up on the stone. A giant teddy all on its own. We've seen him before. He belongs to the bear, the great big bear that lives in the woods somewhere. Suddenly, something made Eddie turn around, a snuffling, scuffling bear sort of sound. A great big voice whined, where's my teddy? He's coming, he's coming, let's hide, cried Eddie. The great big bear came shuffling by, then stopped with a sniff and started to cry. Oh, Teddy, he whimpered. What can I do? I've got no friends apart from you, and you can't talk, and you don't care. I'm such a sad and lonely bear. Then, just as he brushed a tear from his eye, a little voice whispered, Oh, please don't cry. I'm all on my own, just like you, with no one to talk to and nothing to do. I'm a little bit lonely, too, you see, and if you want, you could talk to me. The bear couldn't believe his ears. He gulped and he sniffed and he wiped his tears. You can talk after all, he cried. Of course I can talk, the voice replied. The bear came closer and scratched his head. Why didn't you talk before, he said. Because I'm scared, said the voice. I'm small and shy and you're a great big bear, that's why. There, there, said the bear. You are in a muddle. What you need is a great big cuddle. No, I don't, shrieked the voice. Yes, you do, said the bear. You just need some loving care. Don't be scared. You're my teddy. I'm not, cried the voice. It's me, Eddie. The bear stared at Eddie and clung to his teddy. Eddie stared back and hung on to Freddy. Suddenly, Eddie started to grin. He felt a chuckle rise up from within. He tried to stop it, but it wouldn't stay down. What's so funny, asked the bear with a frown. It's you, <laughs> giggled Eddie. It's you standing there. You're such a great big silly old bear. I am not, said the bear. Yes, you are, yelled Eddie. You thought that you had a talking teddy. Then the bear began to snigger. The smile on his face grew bigger and bigger. His great big belly wiggled and jiggled. <laughs> I am a silly bear, he giggled. A talking teddy. I thought it was true. And all the time, it was actually you. The bear held out a giant-sized teddy and crouched down behind it and said, Hello, Eddie. I'm a talking teddy. Listen to me. Aren't I clever? I'm only three. And Eddie wanted to have a go. He picked up his teddy and squeaked. Hello, my name's Freddy. How do you do? I can talk and I'm only two. They laughed and they laughed till their tummies were sore. Then they looked at each other and they laughed some more. The bear started dancing and singing a song and he made up the words as he went along. I'm silly, he sang, and I don't care. I'm such a great big silly bear. Well, who's saying, Eddie? I'm silly as you, and your teddy and Freddy are silly too. All afternoon, they played in the sun, seeing just who was the silliest one. When the sun began to set in the sky, they knew it was time to say goodbye. We're friends, said Eddie. The bear said, who? You know, said Eddie. Me and you. The bear lifted Eddie up for a hug, hairy and berry and safe and snug. Take care, he said. Look after Freddy. We'll come back soon, whispered Eddie. 
that off they walked with a smile and a wave back to a house and back to a cave. Do you think they're lonely? Not anymore. That's what having friends are for. And this has been Mrs. Welch from the Cavendish Fletcher Community Library. I'll see you soon.